Hey guys, welcome in. How's everybody doing? My name's Shannon. We're here today with a timeless Aquarius reading. See what's going on for you guys. I felt called to use the Light Seekers Tarot, which is strange. We haven't used this in a very long time. And I also felt called to pull out the tea leaves. So with the tea leaves, these are kind of like, um, I'd liken them to charms. So this may help us get some more insight into who this message could be for, but if it doesn't resonate, leave them behind. We're gonna jump in with the tarot very shortly. All right, so we're starting off with throne, position of authority. Coins, money will be coming to you. Love to see that. Let's pull a couple from this stack. Astral house, happiness. And we'll pull one more. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So we have throne, coins, happiness, and teapot. In the pre-shuffle, I was seeing the Six of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles both repeatedly coming out. So maybe there is something you guys are working towards. Maybe this has taken you a while to get to this place. But it looks like whatever this is that you're waiting to grow is going to turn out for the best in the long run. That could just be for some of you. Let's jump in with the tarot and see what the heck's going on. All right, Aquarius. Okay, starting off with the Eight of Cups. Interesting. Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We're walking away from something that no longer fulfills us emotionally. We have the Five of Pentacles, then the Six of Pentacles. So this looks like something that was a process to get yourself out of, to get yourself away from. We had to pull ourselves out of that Five of Pentacles energy, that feeling of abandonment, that feeling of being left out in the cold. Now we're finally making this decision that we deserve something that's reciprocal to us. And we're now moving away from whatever we thought spark had, or fire even, had begun for us in this realm. We're moving away from it because we know it no longer serves us. I feel like doing a cross. Show me what this in the recent past to this. Mm, yeah, we have the Ten of Cups coming out in the recent past. Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we could have rushed into something here. This could be with a person. This could be like you finally got a job that you really felt called to be doing and now you're realizing it's not aligning with you the way that you had initially hoped that it would. Whatever this is though, this is something that we really went all in on and we really had the best of intentions for this blossoming into something further. I'm gonna clarify between that towards the end what what got us to this place, but I have a feeling that all in all, it just wasn't what was on the box, you know? It wasn't as it wasn't as it was being advertised for whatever this is for us, Aquarius. But it is something that you definitely put your whole heart into. Okay, we have judgment and the three of cups coming out in the near future with the five of cups on the bottom of the deck. So to me, guys, what this is saying is whether these are physical friends in this realm, whether these are your guides, whether this is spirit, however you want to view this. With the five of cups being on the bottom of the deck, it feels to me like you guys are going through this kind of period of being a little bit down a period of where we're focusing a lot on whatever happened between these two cards, between this 10 of cups and us choosing to walk away. Our mind right now is kind of focused on the not so great aspects of this situation. With judgment and the three of cups coming out, this is, you know, a, a call to be reawakened. This is, these are people coming through. These are guides coming through. This is spirit coming through to let you know it's okay to step out of this five of cups energy because it's not bringing you anywhere 
And I think it's normal for all of us to kind of fall into this kind of downtrodden way of being after something doesn't quite go our way or we had big plans for something and those plans kind of fell by the wayside. It's normal to kind of feel these emotions, to kind of think back on this and say, why did it not go this way? Where it becomes unhealthy though, is when we can't pull ourselves out of that thinking, where we're continually focused on whatever it is that happened to us that wasn't so great. And in fact, we're so focused that we're missing what is still there, what is still in our lives that is still bringing us joy. And this is where we see judgment coming through with the Three of Cups, which is friendship, celebration, you know, emotional, emotional satisfaction and joy. But there's, you're going to be receiving some type of an awakening, like, hey, we need to come out of this. We're here to help you come out of this. We can get back to this happiness that spirit's letting you know is there for you. In fact, yeah, here, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So maybe for a lot of you guys, you do actually have somebody physically coming through to help you. Let's see what's crowning and what's in the foundation. Crowning, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. You guys are really, really, whatever this is for you, you guys are hyper-focused on it at the moment if you haven't moved out of this position yet. If you're still in the center of this or just walking into this idea of moving away from whatever this is, you guys are really fixated on it. It's like I put so much time and energy and work into this and I'm just not willing to let this go down the tubes again. Um, it feels to me like a pattern or a cycle that we have been stuck in previously. There's that Knight of Swords again. Yeah, you know, it's like you're making these logical decisions and you keep expecting for them to turn out differently, but there's something about this emotionally where things just aren't quite aligning the way that you would want them to. You're putting in all the work that you should be putting in, that you need to put in. You're doing all the things right here in the physical, but for some reason, emotionally, whatever this is for you keeps falling short. But with the Judgment card coming out, remember, this is a major arcana card. The rest of the cards we have out right now are all minor arcana, so things that are happening within ourselves. With the Judgment card coming out, this is, you know, something larger than ourselves coming through to let us know it's okay to move on. You know, maybe we're even completing this cycle. Maybe we're finally seeing that little piece of whatever this is emotionally that we had been missing previously. What's in the foundation here? What is all this about? Thank you. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. It doesn't tell us too much additionally about the situation between the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups because this is just kind of reiterating to us we stepped into a situation that we thought was going to be fulfilling on an emotional level. We walked into this thinking we're in this six of, or we were in this six of wands energy and something happened here between you stepping into this, even getting a little bit further with it, or, you know, we have 10 cups. Maybe that cycle had to end, but it's ending by your own choice. You're moving away from this. So let's see if I can clarify and get some more information about what this is about. For some of you, this definitely does have to do with a work situation, especially with the Eight of Pentacles crowning us. Money is on our mind. We're seeing here money will be coming to you. So maybe we're moving away from something that's not fulfilling us emotionally, but the reason that we have that impetus to move away from it is because we know there's, there's something not quite right there. There's something better that awaits us on the other side of this decision. Let's see, show me what, what is going on here. Wow, 
How about, can we just get one? <laughs> so the justice card came out face up between the 10 of cups and the eight of cups. So there's this idea of there being, like I said earlier, there's, a, there's an imbalance of some type. Whatever this is you're walking away from, you walked into it thinking that things were going to be reciprocal. Remember, we had that six of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. We thought that things were going to be reciprocal. Something here was not. You had to make a moral judgment call. Like, do I stay or do I go? And you've chosen to walk away, but what, what is it, Spirit, that we're moving away from? It could be different for everybody. What are we walking away from? Thank you. The Emperor. Position of authority. We're moving away from somebody who maybe thinks themselves the ultimate ruler of, you know, not only their domain, but your domain as well. Yeah, now we have the Page of Swords down here. So there's this idea of when we moved into this situation, we were quite sure of ourselves, if not rushing a little bit, but we were quite sure of where this was going to go. And something happened here with somebody's, either the way somebody behaves, how somebody presents themselves, or what somebody thinks that they control. And maybe you were a part of what that person thought that they controlled. And that's just not true. We have justice coming out here. You know, there is a moral right and wrong that is larger and greater than what any of us little peons down here believe, right? So you're being guided to move away from this. Let's see what our next step's gonna be, guys. What's the next step after we move away? Why would we be doing that? There's something about this situation that has you still tied in. So we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Star. There's your card, Aquarius. Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This person or people could even have you kind of tied up in some drama of some type. Bottom line here, Aquarius, for this reading, if this reading is for you, I'm not telling anybody to do anything. You should never do anything, especially based solely off of a general reading on YouTube. Um, but judging from what energy I'm reading right now, there's something about this situation that you're moving away from. You're walking away from it emotionally. However, mentally and physically, there's still a part of you that is attached to this. This is going to provide the basis for you to step into a major healing place. There's something about ourselves buried deep down within us that needs to be healed in regard to whatever this situation is. And this is providing the, the beginning steps. Like you making this move, you choosing to walk away from this, you choosing to no longer actively engage in this is going to provide the beginning point, this awakening here. here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> like, okay, words got stuck. Um, this is going to provide the starting place, the starting point for you to step into this healing journey. And really, if we look at this whole spread, we're dealing with everything. This We've got friendship, we've got happiness, we've got love, we've got money. We have just about everything laid out here. So especially with the star and the judgment card being out in this spread and justice and the emperor, it feels to me like whatever it is that has gone wrong here or whatever it is we're choosing to walk away from because it's no longer resonating with us, it's for the best. <laughs> and I mean, everything is always for the best in the long run, right? But you might not be able to see that right now because you might be in a place of experiencing a lot of emotional pain. But just know that there's going to come a 
point in this. As long as you keep putting in the work, keep showing up, keep being there for yourself. There's going to come this point where you're like, oh, okay, I, now I understand. Now I see why I had to go through this. And once we hit that point of understanding, it's like we're going to start digging through the why. Why are we so attached to this? Why are we feeling so called to look into this and you know, reflect on it? What is this? And it's going to provide us the opportunity to heal from something that maybe has been plaguing us for many, many cycles now. All right, friends, that's where we're gonna leave it at today. I'd like to thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys so much. I truly hope you're all having a beautiful day and um, I will talk to you again soon.